UFOs are real, burgeoning, and not going away. Welcome to another special edition of UFO Update. I'm your host, Elliot Marzulli. Uh, got some really cool stuff to talk about today. We'll get into that. But first, a word from our trusted sponsor, Biotrust. History is being made thanks to a new study. There is strong evidence to suggest collagen is one of the best supplements in the world to help reduce the appearance of skin aging. Researchers found the supplement helped improve the skin elasticity and hydration of over a thousand people. That's why I've been using it. Folks, I take it every day. Other products do not contain the same level of the five critically important types of collagen for bright, even, and younger looking skin like my favorite collagen does. It combines the right types and the right amount of collagen your skin needs to help rejuvenate its elasticity. Unlock your secret to healthy aging with this amazing powder. Health with LA is notorious for selling out due to their high demand. If you order now, you'll get 51% off free shipping and a 60-day money-back guarantee. Get yours while you still can by going to that's www health with LA or visiting the link below. Uh, so over the weekend, this story broke. Uh, this is slide number one. Truth is out there. World's best ever UFO image. The Calvine photo showing 100 foot craft finally revealed after being hidden for 30 years. Folks, it, it is unraveling. What was once thought of as complete conspiracy theory, tinfoil hot work. And remember, this is the same government, all right, that that told us about 30 years ago that the phenomena was swamp gas and the planet Venus and people were a little mentally unstable. Maybe they were drinking a little too much or something, right? That's what we always heard. In fact, J. Alec Hynek, um, that's, he said about debunking all these things. Later he became a believer, but I digress. The bottom line is this, now it's, now it's being revealed, it's coming out. It's on Fox News, it's on CNN, it's in all sorts of media, all types of media. The problem is this, and we talked about this, Mark Kahn and I did last week <clears throat> on our UFO update. The church is incredibly asleep on this. They are ambivalent. People are still afraid to go to their pastor and say, hey, I had a sighting. I saw something. Um, I'm not sure what this is. I was, I was taken. I was abducted. This is why we're making our films. The third film uh, will be out fairly soon. I'm, I'm in the process of just polishing it. We're also working on number four, which is on abductions, but I digress. So this came out over the weekend, and there's another shot of it here, and it says um, McMinnville, 1950. It's the classic UFO over the farm in the middle of nowhere with the telephone wires. I've used that. And then they say, you know, Calvine, 1990, um, and, and there's the ship with a plane behind it. Why now? Why not? Because they're rolling it out. It's, it's deliberate. They are rolling it out. Who are they? Well, the powers that be are they. They're rolling this stuff out. They're, they're trickling it out to the masses to see what the reaction is. So far, and I've said this numerous times, so far the reaction is, is basically flatlined. Nobody does anything. So what's incredible about this is now on Fox News, um, alien abductions. Abby Hornacek, um, pretty gal. Probably has got several degrees in journalism, a lot more than I do. But she's there telling us all about alien abductions. I looked at what she's talking about. Some of these things happened decades ago. For instance, uh, Betty and Barney Hill. Uh, that's the classic abduction that happened way back in the 50s, I believe. And uh, they were driving on a, on a road in the northeast part of the United States, and they had an encounter, and this thing began to follow them, and they absolutely were terrified. And they were taken aboard... Um, that memory was blocked from them. Later, under regression, hyp hypnotic regression, they were able to retrieve the memories. Look, folks, the abduction phenomenon is real. I've talked about it. We've talked about it. Al Matthews. Look, if you open up, I, you know, I, I, get, I get exasperated because I can't do any more than this. I mean, I've got two free films. All you got to do is open up the text box right below here, and there's the links to the two films. It says UFO links right here, part one, part two. Part three will not be free. We can't. We, we need to make a living. But part one and two were released for free because we want to get the information out. We are working on part three, which is just more UFO testimonies. Part four is chilling. It's on abductions. We will actually be filming a woman who will be under... Uh, hypnosis. And when I say that, people go, oh my God, no, no, it's not what you think it is. It's in a, you're in a very relaxed state and you're in total control. But 
the woman who is doing this has done it for years, and she coaxes these memories up to the surface. So we'll, that will all be on film. This woman was taken numerous times, and that's why uh, she has consented uh, to be regressed. She wants to find out what happened. And some people do, some people don't. But we've got a lot of uh, the interviews already on film. I've been, I'm, it's, it's getting ready to be edited. But first, we've got to get number three. So circling back, if you go to, if you go open up a text box, you'll see the first video and the second video. Al Matthews appears in, in number one. He's the centerpiece. He was taken numerous times. Al comes on the record for number four, where he talks about his abductions. Emil who was called Bill in a Watcher series, we took the implant out of him. He comes on the record years later now and tells us what happened then, what's happening now. It's, it's an incredible update. So that'll be before Christmas, definitely we'll get that out. But here we go, um, Abby um, Horn Hornacek, I think that's how you pronounce it, for, please forgive me, but she's talking about alien abductions and they are real and there's a breeding program that's going on. The fact that it's on Fox News and not on Coast to Coast or Ancient Aliens, right? There's a whole, it's a whole different level of media, completely different. And so it's hit the mainstream. This is a coming great deception. I've warned about it. I've talked about it for years. Um, I've, it's in my books. I actually coined the phrase, the coming great deception. And a Luciferian anger, because in my opinion, that's what it is. Because when they show up, and you need to understand this, everything changes. Life on this planet does a 180. Everything just stops. Just stops. And when they show up, they will tell us that they created all life on this planet. They genetically manipulated early man. They started the world civilizations. Now at this critical juncture in human history, they, E.T., are back to usher mankind into a golden age. Not so fast, citizen. Why do they have to abduct people at 3 o'clock in the morning? Why do they feel it necessary to implant a five-year-old boy? Why is that, you tell me? Why is it that this count and mass game has continued for decades? Why not just reveal yourselves? Why is it always under the secrecy of darkness? The questions to think about. Uh, another slide, Congress implies UFOs have non-human origins. Well, of course they do. We've talked about this. Uh, and it's, you know, it, it's just amazing how they, how they roll it out. Here's another clip from Congress. Congress admits UFOs not man-made, says threats increasing exponentially. So this is why they're, they're couching it as a threat so they can get it funded. Because if it's a threat, then, you know, we can pour tax dollars into this and make sure we're investigating exactly what's going on. Let me tell you something, folks. The deep state has been aware of this literally for decades. Bob Lazar right, worked at Area 51. I always believed in Bob Lazar's testimony right from the get-go in the 90s. They know the shadow government, the powers that be, they know exactly who it is that they're dealing with. They do. And this is why we've had whistleblowers come, you know, forward to us. They won't appear on camera, but they'll show me credentials and they'll say, I worked at a deep underground military base, a dumb deep underground military base, and I work side by side with the Greys. Folks, UFOs are real burgeoning. It's not going away. Once again, we've got the two films right below here. If you haven't seen them, please watch them. The third one is, is incredible because some of the testimonies that we have are just astounding. And of course, we're working on number four with the abductions. But you can watch these two for free, and I would su highly suggest you do that. Also, hit the little subscribe button. Uh, go to our, our site, streaming.lamarzuli.net, streaming.lamarzuli.net, or go to onthetrailwithla.com. Onthetrailwithla.com. There's all sorts of resources there. What happened in antiquity is now being revealed in modernity. Folks, it, it's real. It's happening, and it's right in front of our faces. Once again, UFO Disclosure Part 3 will be available. We'll probably be doing a brief sale on that fairly soon. Thanks so much for watching. Um, and before we go, here is, in my opinion, what is the clearest, most incredible UFO footage ever taken by the late Dr. Roger Lear on the shores of Lake Kumbergas in Turkey. Not only does it show the craft, from multiple zoom-ins and zoom-outs, but it shows you who the occupants in the craft are. 
And that's why, in my opinion, it's the best UFO footage. We put a bug there that says watchers because we have to, because people will steal it. I've already seen one where they've gone in and they've just taken the ship and completely blotted out all the other things around the ship. So that's, you know, look, we had it. We broke the story thanks to Dr. Roger Lear in our watchers series. So let me show you that clip. I'll be on the other side of it to sign off. Richard Shaw and I made 10 films in the Watcher series. Rick was the director and producer of the series. It'll be two years this coming August since Rick passed very unexpectedly. In all of those films, we featured Dr. Roger Lear. Dr. Lear was a podiatrist. He was also one of the first people ever to extract what we believe is an alien implant. And we show that in one of the films. The following clip that you're about to see was taken in Dr. Roger Lear's office, and Dr. Roger is talking about his encounter with a UFO in Turkey. In my opinion, this is the best UFO footage ever taken. But it's such a phenomenal footage. It's not, not been labeled by me, yeah, but it's been labeled by uh, not only video analysts, but the researchers in the field as being the best I agree. Uh, uh, f photography yeah. of a UFO and Ever. documents I, that was I agree. ever taken. I, I concur. And, and, and don't you think also that as a matter of habit or, or whatever it may be, that when people see things and it looks too good, they say, it can't be real. Sure. Cognitive dissonance kicks in. Right. I can't be looking at what I think no. I'm looking at. No. So there it is. You can hear Dr. Roger Lear, or see Dr. Roger Lear in the office. I'm out of out of camera shot. Richard just had the camera on on, on Roger, and Roger's saying it's the best foot, UFO footage that uh, that he's ever seen, and it's I still think it's it's amazing. Until they really show up and just sit there in broad daylight, this is it for me. I've never seen anything, with all due respect, to other. Um, other shows and other people that show show craft. Jaime's got some incredible footage that I saw, but nothing nothing like the Kumbergad's UFO footage, in my opinion. Thanks so much for watching. Remember, folks, UFOs are real, burgeoning, and not going away. What will you do if they show up and we're still here? Thanks so much for watching.